Hey everyone, I just got to Houston for a pre-screening of The Visit, which is a new thriller from M. Night Shyamalan, who directed The Sixth Sense, and he also did Signs, and then the makers of the Paranormal Activity series, the Insidious series, and The Purge. So I'm sure you guys have seen those scary movies. They're really great. I've seen all of them. And you guys know that I love scary movies, so I wanted to take you guys along with me on this little trip to the pre-screening and let you know what I thought about the movie The Visit, and if it's worth seeing, and if I think you guys should check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and go see the movie and I'll come back in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just got out of the Visit movie and I really enjoyed it. I definitely would recommend you guys go see it. I think even if you aren't typically a fan of scary movies, it does have some elements of like comedy and stuff, which I think you guys would really enjoy. I know all the people in the actual theater were laughing at the funny parts and then of course screaming and jumping at the scarier parts. I also think they did a really good job with making you connected to the characters as well. You really got to know the brother and sister and if you guys don't know what it's actually about, I'll kind of give you a quick idea. So basically it's about a brother and sister that are sent to a remote farm in Pennsylvania to visit their grandparents for the week and things just get really weird and they notice that things aren't quite right and I won't go into any of the spoilers or the details but it's very good a lot of twists and turns and I think you guys should definitely go check it out so if you do happen to go see the visit come back to this movie and leave your thoughts in the comments below because the only thing I love more than scary movies is discussing them with other people that have also seen them so I'd love to hear you guys thoughts on the movie I'm about to drive back home to Austin and I'll see you guys when I make it home Hey guys, so as you can tell by my little skull scarf, I'm going to be talking about the movie that I saw last night, which you guys probably saw from my vlog clips that I made a little trip to Houston to attend a pre-screening of M. Night Shyamalan's and Universal Pictures' The Visit movie. It was really amazing. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. And once you see it, definitely come back to this video and leave me in the comments below what you thought about it because I love scary movies, but more than that, I love talking about scary movies, especially with other people that enjoy watching them. So I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and just ideas about the movie. I think probably the most like known scene right now, at least the scene that I saw over and over again on like the commercials and the previews and stuff was of the grandma asking the girl to get inside the oven to clean it. And it was so eerie because it was so like said in such a very calm, sweet, like grandma voice. But then what she was asking the girl to do was so creepy and a little bit weird and almost like you thought like is, it, is she being serious? Like, did she really mean, like, get into the oven? And I won't go any further into detail about any spoilers of the movie or anything like that, but you guys should definitely check it out and let me know what you think about it when you do. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to some of my favorite things. Now that it's fall, I'm so excited. My birthday is this month on the 26th. I'm super excited for that. Um, but more than anything, I just love the fall time. I love the colors, the smells, the food, the clothing, the fashion, literally everything. So I wanted to share a few of my new favorite things, which like I said, scary movies in the fall time, absolute perfect. I cannot think of any better night than just like cuddling up with someone and watching a scary movie all wrapped up in blankets with like the windows open and that little cold breeze coming through. It's like literally the most perfect Friday or Saturday night I can even think of. So first, as far as like makeup and stuff, I did want to mention two lipsticks that I've been wearing a lot recently in my past videos and in like all my Instagram pictures pictures and people have been commenting wanting to know what I'm wearing. So first of all, I love this kind of a nude, almost mauve lip. Now if I'm going for more of like a more natural kind of brown tone, then I'll be using this is the Victoria's Secret lipstick in the color Dusk and it has a little bit more of a brown color to it, but it's really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous, really enhances my natural lip color, but that little bit of like a brown tone to the nude lip is very like 90s and I really like it and I definitely think that's very in style right now currently. And then the other one, if I'm ever wearing like a nude lip that looks a little bit more pink, a little bit more rosy, then it's probably always my Chanel Rouge Allure in the color 77. And this is so cool, it's like a liquid lipstick. So it comes out like this with a little brush and you like paint it on and then it dries but not to like a cracky like drying finish. Definitely worth the money for how nice it is and how pretty the color is. I wear this all the time. So those are like my two go-to lip colors currently. Moving on, I wanted to talk about this candle that I got. Now this is an LED wax candle and it has the look of a flickering flame. I've talked about these before but I got this one from like a local like home store and I'm super excited about it because it's red and this one is actually remote control. Control. So I can like control it just from my bed, turn off with the remote control, turn back on. And I've shared these before. I really love the look of candles, not only for the smell, but also just for kind of the ambiance that they set in your room and make it look so cozy. And I'd love to have like some lights on, but normally not like all my chandelier light and like a bunch of light. 
but having actual real candles set up throughout your room, especially when you're reading or doing something where you might fall asleep or just relaxing, can be a little bit dangerous if you forget to blow out your candles. So I really like these candles that give the look and kind of like the warmth glow of a real candle, but it's not actually on fire. Speaking of home decor stuff, I will give you guys a little tour of my room. I did make it a little bit more fall ready, I guess. Like I said, fall is my favorite season ever and I love decorating. I can't wait till it gets a little bit colder here in Texas. I think that will be like perfect, but for the time being, I'm having fun redecorating my room a little bit and I just made a few little touches and I really didn't have to buy that many things. I kind of had a lot of this stuff already, but just putting it out really got me in the mood and the spirit of fall. So I'll go ahead and show you some things that I did. also very excited for Halloween. It's definitely my favorite holiday of all time and I love doing my Halloween videos. So if you guys have any requests for videos you'd like me to do, please leave them below. From the VMAs, I really want to create one of Miley's looks. I loved it. And I also did a look from Gwen Stefani that was kind of like similar with like a wig and stuff. Just very out there and I got a lot of great like response from you guys if you remember that video. And I really hope that I'll be able to do some more Halloween looks that also involve like wigs or different colored hair and just stuff that's a bit more kind of out there and daring. I also wanted to show you guys this flannel that I got. This was actually what inspired me to do the fall room decor, really going with these maroons and oranges and brown colors all mixed together. I love flannels. I think they're so perfect for the fall and they can really just instantly make any more outfit more like fall appropriate or just really cozy and comfy looking while being cute and trendy at the same time. I would love to throw this on with like some maybe leather panel leggings and like some more feminine boots and stuff just to kind of break it up a little bit. And speaking of fashion items and stuff for the fall, I did have a photo that I found of Blake Lively that I would love to do a look for less video on. I'll go ahead and show you the photo right now. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a look for less version of the outfit that Blake is wearing because I've already started to find some of the pieces that she has on for a better price point. Other than that, oh, Molly started college and she went Kappa and she is just having a great time at college and I'm really excited for her and that new chapter of her life. I feel like time is just flying by so much. If you guys don't know, Molly is my sister and she's been on my channel a few times when she was a lot younger and stuff. So I thought you guys might get a kick out of knowing that she's now in college and just really growing up. So I think that's it for this video. Like I said, I will see you guys very soon because I'm going to be trying to upload more frequently and I hope you guys had a great night and happy fall. Bye everyone.